Morning Hustle Show, and I am so excited to be sitting here. Your girl L'Oreal, Head Crack will be in the building, but we are sitting here with Morris Chestnut and Malcolm D. Lee, and we're talking all about the best man that's going to be on Peacock December 22nd. That's right. Ten episodes. Eight. 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 Eight, yes. Oh, what happened? Y'all ripped us off? We couldn't afford ten. <laughs> we couldn't afford ten. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <sighs> Too much to go into, but I mean, you know, it's everybody had to look. Things happen. Beautiful. Well, what it what it is is that you know we had eight actors who work in the industry who you know so we had other demands and yeah. so it was hard to get us all there for the whole ten amongst some other things. That's okay. Well, y'all are saying the final chapters. That's correct. Mm. <laughs> that's correct. Mm. You, you, said you, that, you said that with your chest. That's yeah, yeah, correct. That's, 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 uh, <laughs> make no mistake. It's, it's, it's a title for a reason. <laughs> so what made you say this is what's going to really wrap everything up? Well, you know, I think you get to a point where you, there's no more story to tell. Yeah. Mm. Right? And there's there's... You don't want to be in a place where, like, you know, the, the famous saying in television, don't jump the shark, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And leave the people wanting more. Yeah. Right? I'd rather, I'd rather make something where people are like, oh, that was great, rather than say, why'd they do that? Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't want to be the why'd they do that thing. You know what I mean? I've done that. But I, I, th- this I don't want, want, want to be. And I thought, like, this was, we, we owed it to the fans to answer the question, who did Quentin get married to? And then, like, let's talk about the rest of the characters and where they are in, in, in this stage of life. But let's talk about the fact that the first film was 1999 and Morris, you look the damn same and it's 2023. <laughs> what, is, like, what is in the water on set? Can we? Can you share? It ain't on set. It ain't on set. He got his own stash. He, the, he knows it the root, the root to the fountain of youth. Yeah. What is going on here? Do you have a certain diet that you do? Your skin is glowing. I just, you know, honestly, I just, uh, I mean, I, 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 I mean, I just try to eat right and yeah. uh, try to live right. I think that's the main thing. I, I, you know, I go to sleep early. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I just try to live and eat right. And you almost got jammed up a little bit there when you did an interview a couple weeks ago with uh, Regina uh, Hall, and you said, "Yeah, you know, you you was all right, and your body was together." And no, she was like, so "Hold that, on no, now, no, no, no." So that was <laughs> no. See, what, are you what, still what, in trouble? No, no, no. Because <laughs> see, Regina and I had done press. We had done, we did I don't know eight hours of a press day together. Mm-hmm. So we had little inside jokes yeah. about that. So when we filmed that show. The, everybody else wasn't in on the inside jokes. Right. We, we, we would joke the all the time. The inside joke became outside. It became it outside. It? Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, I, no, like, I was, so I wasn't saying that. It was just our little thing that we used to talk about when we were on our junket together. Yeah, so yeah. kind of like the Charlemagne thing, because they compare you and him, <laughs> right. and they say that y'all look alike. So how right. does that make you feel? <laughs> oh, I don't, just trust me. I've been called. I mean, I've, I've, I've been I've been places where people say, yeah, man, oh, man, I love your stuff, man. I'm so excited to see you. It's so great. And then when I leave, hey, right, have a good one, Tyrese. You know, it's like... <laughs> It's, it's always something, you know what I'm saying? It's like... I love you in Transformers, man. Yeah, I love you in Transformers. We're going to sing again. We put another album out. Yeah, exactly. So I, went, I, went to, I went to Starbucks one day when I was in New York, and uh, they gave me... I said, oh, thank you guys. So they, they comp me my, my, my coffee. They said, thank, they said, anything for you, Ty Diggs? You know? <laughs> so it's like, his name is Tay, but yeah. okay, I'll take it. But are these people... I'm, I'm hoping they're black. <laughs> they uh, white. Uh, they're white. Yeah, no, they're white. No, no, they're black. Some of them are black. Oh, okay. Some are black. Yeah, so some they're are just black, a yeah. little confused. They, they, don't they, know they what's give it. It yeah. happens. All black people look alike. No, they do not. <laughs> <laughs> we all look alike. Black ball head teeth. They look alike. No. Okay, Go so you have the entire cast coming back. Yeah. Right. That has to be something that's a blessing, right? Because a lot of times people fall off when it comes to going to the next movie. They're either not looking the same so you don't want them in the part or maybe they're not interested in doing the part. So is this like become a family now at this point since y'all have done so much together? Definitely a family, you know, and like it didn't make sense to have one without the other, right? Like the the, the best man is, is a great ensemble and, you know, that was a challenge of it, you know, like bringing all these people back together because if, if I wasn't going to do it with, with everybody, it wasn't, you know, worth doing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like, I think that, yeah, I mean, it, we are a family, and, you know, sometimes 
You don't always get along with yeah, your family. Yeah, that was what I was um, going to ask next. It, it do be <laughs> happening. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, there's a lot of love and there's a lot of history. Um, and, I, and I, you know, I am indebted to this cast of, of people. And, you know, we, we, you know, we do really love one another. But, you know, it can be... It can be challenging at times. So who would you say, both of you, was in the beginning, maybe the in 99, you was like, oh, man, I'm not sure about this person. And now in 2022, 2023, y'all are more close or closer and have a better relationship and understanding of each other. Has that been anybody? Well, I mean, I the only person I knew, um, think about it, yeah, the only person I knew Prior to the first one was Nia, and we worked on we worked on Boys in the Hood together. But yeah. we were all so young. I mean, we look back to that film. We were just happy to come together and be you know get paid for making another movie. Mm-hmm. You know, we had a script that was very refreshing at the time because when when that when the best man came up, it were there was still kind of like we were still in somewhat the gang genre, mm-hmm. and so it was so refreshing. So we all were just kind of happy to to just be on set, just to think, you know, just to be working, yeah. but to think that we'd be here now after this point. No one would have thought that. Yeah, even what you're saying, boys in the hood, is crazy because you're a part of so many classic black movies, uh, yeah. and it's like. You just the fact that I'm sitting here looking at you and you look like you're th- the same age as me. I'm like, what's happening? <laughs> like you know, I promise you, you better start living no, right. No, because I'm better start like, living right. I, I don't eat no meat, none of that stuff. Okay. But when I the crazy thing is like, you know, you hear things or you see people and uh-huh. you like, well, maybe that's a filter. Maybe he uses a little makeup. Right, right. But then in person, you're like, oh my god, wow! Like it's it's really shocking. He do really uh, look. He like really that. looks like this. Like I don't feel like I'm gonna wipe your face and it's gonna come off or nothing like that. <laughs> What about you? Was there somebody that was a little more difficult in the beginning that you thought may be a problem and then they ended up being a joy to work with? Everybody was very consistent, you yeah. know, like whoever they were. But here's uh, here's what I will say. Like, you know, having that, like Morris said, everybody was glad to be there, mm-hmm. right? Like, I was glad to be, be there. It was my first movie. Yeah. And, and, and here these actors were who, you know, didn't always get the opportunity to display who they were mm-hmm. as right, actors. Right. Yeah. You know, it was very one-dimensional characters they were being offered. And I think, you know, Best Man was able, was it was was to have not just one person in, in a role that was, you know, pretty juicy and layered. It was eight of them. Yeah. And then, like, you know, to bring in, like, somebody like Regina Hall, in her first, you know, film Hilarious. debut, I like it was, you know, fantastic to, to 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 get us all back together. Same thing with the with the with the best man holiday. You know, it was uh, you know th- th- we all love working together. Yeah. You know, and 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 bringing something you know something special to the light. And by the way, both movies changed the industry. And yeah. I think mm. also we're, we're we're integral in all of our careers. And very much so. You've written, you wrote, and directed. All of them, right? Correct? Or this, this Well, I wrote and directed the first two movies. Mm-hmm. With this one, um, I directed four of the episodes. Yeah. I produced all the episodes. I wrote I wrote on um, you know, all of them, but they were, you know, we had writers who were who were, you know, doing the writing on them. Well, so. one director that stood out to me, and it's because Five Heartbeats is my favorite mm. all-time movie. And what? that's Robert. Your favorite, your favorite all-time movie. Oh, I'm sorry. The second one is uh, Best I'm Man. Here, right? <laughs> uh-huh. well, you want to grill us? No, now we're going to grill you. Now we're going to grill you. Now we're going to grill you. I like the singing parts, you know, so I like, you know, no matter who. Uh, okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> Mm. So yeah, Robert Townsend. Robert Townsend, fantastic director, a veteran. Like, re- like I, you know, I learned, you know, from from watching Robert on set, like yeah. you know how to get things done. He's very greedy when it comes to like getting the coverage that he wants. So like, I'm a, as a man after my own heart. I love getting as much as I can out of, you know, out of my day. Um, and you know, he, he's great with humor, great with emotion, um, and you know, with, with music also, right? Like he, you know, like the th- the things that he, he that he had on set and he put on in his ed- in his edit. I was like, oh my gosh. That's great. So like no, and, and I loved him. He he was he, he stepped in for us in, in so many um, different ways. So I love Robert Townsend. He did two of our episodes. Yeah, Robert was great. To yeah, work that's with. what I was gonna great. say. Yeah. How was it working with him? He was he was great to work with. He he was he he really you know because he was he was been in front of the camera and of course behind the camera. But he he was great to work with. Yeah. Okay. So right now it's a thing going on with Ice Cube, right? And the the was Friday franchise. Yeah. Oh yeah. They took it from him, even though he created it or whatever the case. And the fact that you've created such a powerful, impactful movie to the culture as well. 
what is something that maybe like a future director could do to prevent something like that getting their work life's work stolen and not being able to you know even have their own franchise yeah i mean look um with best man I mean, it, it could have been taken from me also you know it's like they, they they once once you you know get somebody to pay for your stuff unless you're bringing your own money to the table yeah. they have the right to do what what they want with it you know now is not that always the smartest thing for them to do no cuz you know the the creator behind it you you want that person involved if you want to go fur- further with it cuz you know otherwise you know i think as as a as a director or as a writer you know all you can do is like try to put out your best work and you know, try to navigate the business because it's a tricky business. And mm-hmm. and as Morris has, mm-hmm. has, has, has has alluded to, it's always evolving. Mm-hmm. So we, you know, you, you just try to like maintain your integrity, get as, get get your work, um, you know, as 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 best set as you can, and then you know, make sure that you're you're able to want work again, you know, yeah. with people mm-hmm. because you have you have to be able. To, this is this is a a business of relationships. And you you know you want to try to maintain the relationship. You don't have to have to like kiss anybody's behind, mm-hmm. but you you do have to like work with people and cooperate and collaborate. Yeah, and you will be collaborating again with Tiffany Haddish, Queen Latifah, Regina mm. Hall, and doing Girls Trip too, because that's what I heard. Uh, can we get any little inside scoop on that, Morris? Do you know something about it that you I overheard? I don't know. No, I don't know. What's, what's the inside scoop of yeah, Girls Trip 2, Malcolm? Inside I, scoop. They I, all I, confirmed girls, that it's going to be a part two. They coming to the A for Freaknik. I think. <laughs> right, that's, that's what I heard. Freaknik. Let's go. Exactly. Bring it back. <laughs> I, you know, we'll, we'll see. I mean, we, you know, look, we, we set a pretty high bar with that first movie. Big time. And yeah. you just want to be able to meet people's expectations mm-hmm. so like it's all gonna be about the script and you know and making sure that, that it's it's uh, something that, that we think is worthy of doing um, and once once we we get that hurdle then it'll be like okay like can we afford to make this movie and like what's the budget and all that kind of mm-hmm. stuff so we hope I seen in the plot that they added a friend and she like works at the radio station and she got Cartier glasses and she got Cartier glasses and she actually yeah it was her idea for the Freaknik so yeah 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 so that's how you can plug it in I guess (laughs) no but Morris what do you have uh, besides the best man final chapters I know you have some other things in the works because you're always working what do you have for us coming up Um, well we show the show to NBC right now so we're in the outline stages of that Um, I'm doing something for BET right now and um, just uh, just Keeping a lot of keeping a lot a lot of uh, balls in the air. Yeah. Okay. And now holiday time, right? Mm-hmm. Of course, we know that we, you can't say your own movie. Okay. I'm gonna okay. just say that. What's your favorite all time Christmas movie, holiday Ooh. movie, or whatever? For me, it's Elf. Really? Love, That's I a good love, one. Love, 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 love Elf. Yeah, I love that. Wow. That's a good movie. You gotta top that. I gotta top that one. <laughs> wow. I mean, wow. My favorite holiday. Christmas movie. I, 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 how? I have to top Elf? Yeah. Die Hard. Die Hard, yes. Ooh, Die Hard. That's Love a Christmas that. That's a good movie. one. That yeah, is a Christmas, Christmas movie. Took place in it. Uh-huh. It sure yeah, that's right. That's a good one. I like I'm going to stick with the Christmas story. I watch it. That's why oh, I come on a Mar- uh, okay, marathon. Okay, this is the second time. First, for Five Heartbeats. Right. Then Best Man Holiday. You told us we couldn't pick our own movie. But Best Man Holiday. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Wow. Damn it. It's how we're going to invite the show here. Okay, you know what? Where's the love? Yes. I said girl strip too. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, also, you worked with Spike Lee in the beginning of your career. Yes. Right? And Malcolm X was one of the, the movies you worked on. Listen, if everybody in the world did not get impacted by that story and that film and just mm. how, it, just everything about it, um, how does that even feel to be able to have something like that under under your belt? Well, you know, first of all, <clears throat> Malcolm X is my namesake. I was named after Malcolm X. Spike Lee is my actual blood relative. I was going to say that, but I didn't want to, because I didn't know. It's all good. Is he, it, is he your... Our are fathers are brothers. Okay. So first cousins. Cousins. Um, and so, yeah. I knew that I wasn't mean, a coincidence. I'm like, too many of y'all. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, 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 yeah, I mean, I, in fact, I got to work on that movie... Um, he said, like, take a, a semester, a year off from school to do. I was at Georgetown in undergrad, and he said, hey, you know, come work on this movie and work on Malcolm X. And I was like, okay. Mm-hmm. And so it was a, a real uh, experience for me, and I got to see very early on, like, how things get made. Um, I worked in a, um, 
in the casting department. I got to work on set. I also got to work in the editorial. So a lot of aspects of 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 of, of mo- making movies, and that one, extremely special. I mean, like I was. I remember the day Amazing. that I was there mm-hmm. for, you know, when when they assassinated uh, Malcolm. And it was very just like a, a it, we were at the actual Audubon ballroom, and it was very like heavy. It was a very heavy um, day, and like you could feel, you know, the the spirit of Malcolm there. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Last question, I, I promise. So speaking of spirits, <laughs> so there's a lot of talk around uh, when we do movies that include slavery. Like a lot of people had things to say about emancipation, Will Smith's latest movie, and they're like, why do we have to? continuously visit these stories. Now, on the other hand, this is our history, something that should always be remembered. What do you guys feel about us recreating the slavery moments in these movies? Well, first of all, American slavery is American history. It is not our shame, yeah. black people's shame. Mm-hmm. This is something that was, you know, you know, entered upon upon us. It is a part of the history of the world and America, and there's a greater part of our of our history as well. But mm-hmm. this one needs to be told and 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 said. And there are people who sacrificed a lot, you know, willing un- unwillingly to you know to, so that we could get in this where we are today. Right. So mm-hmm. I I feel like I don't have a problem with with you know the slave narrative, and that just can't be the only thing. And I'm glad that black directors, black storytellers, are telling those stories. Mm-hmm. There it is. There yeah, because you've never done a movie, a slavery movie. If you were approached with one, would you? Not yet. I mean, you know, I, I, you know, I could. You know, Kuta Kente was already taken. They did that in Roots. I would have wanted to play that part. <laughs> but uh, no, you know, and like Malcolm said, though, it is our history. You have so many. I mean, not to get political, but so many people are trying to not erase our history, but ignore the history that we even that we even have a history yeah, right. in this com- yeah. in this country. So I, I think it's great that we're still. Um, not only does it still educate, but it also provides jobs for people in this industry and like Malcolm said that's not the only thing we can do we can do an emancipation we can do a best man holiday there's so many things that 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 we can do and that we are doing so yeah. I, I think it's good yes good well thing. thank you so much Best man, the final chapters. That's, that's what right. they're calling it. That's right. Why are you putting in quotations? <laughs> Air quotes. What's up with that? That is the actual title. That? That? He got about 80 more years in him, so I think you got <laughs> He does. I'm saying, what you trying to do? Get to other that. stories to tell. Yeah, other stories to tell. Lots of other stories to tell. Other stories. He's very forgiving, we see in these past movies, because I ain't that damn forgiving. I'm no, like, you're not. You know, you're not. I try to be, I pray. Okay, you pray. Yeah, okay, I pray, okay, I pray, okay. but uh-huh. you are way more forgiving in these movies than I've ever been in real life, I think. Wow, really? Are you like that in real life? Forgive uh, me? It depends on the circumstance. I mean, I mean, wow. I mean, Lance has been doing <laughs> he's a been lot. Really has. He's been a lot but by the of way, challenges. He's the only one. He's the only character that could have, that could have gotten over the broom. Uh huh. He's the I'm only imagine. one that could have like you know accepted the the, the death of his wife. I mean, he, after the grieving process, because mm-hmm. because of his faith in God. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. true. The mm-hmm. only one. Keep God first. Keep, Keep God, God first. Uh, right? it God's feet. God's feet. <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> December 22nd, the final chapter is Best Man. Make sure y'all check it out on Peacock. We, we are the morning hustle.